Welcome back to Math Party People. Anderson here, your ASVAB coach, and we got a free class tonight, and I'd love to see you in there. So go ahead and make sure to go to that link right there or click the link in the description to go ahead and make sure you register for tonight's free class. That way, you can raise your score nice and easy. Let's go and tackle this. Let me show you what's up. So what we see here is we're being asked, which of the following is a possible number of guests at this event? Okay, so let's go and ask ourselves, you know, what's really going on here? What do we have? That way we can take a look here and understand what we need to do. So we want the possible number of guests at this event. And it says at an upcoming event, guests are grouped into tables seating six people each. Okay. There are no empty seats, meaning there's exactly six people at every single seat. Okay. Sounds good. So with no empty seats, six each, we're basically being asked which of these numbers is divisible by six. Let's keep it real, my math party people. I know that watching these ASVAB videos on YouTube is great, but what if you could join me live for a free class once a week? I do have free classes live once a week for two hours a piece for ASVAB math, so why not join me? Click the link right here, that way you can join me, raise your score for free, and keep kicking butt like you're doing right now. Let's get back to the action, but I hope to see you in class soon. Click there and let's get started. Which of these is divisible by six? So let's go ahead and ask ourselves, well, how do we know that? How do we know which number is divisible by six? So six people each, no empty seats, which means again, no remainders. There are no remainders. That's the big giveaway. That's the big giveaway. So because there's no remainder, that means that six perfectly divides into this number. So how do we figure out whether a number is divisible by six or not? Well, think about it like this. If a number is divisible by six, that's the same thing as dividing by two, <laughs> wow, dividing by two and dividing by three. So basically the rule here is, if you wanna find out which number is divisible by six, well, it has to be both divisible by two and by three. And so how do we know that? Well, a number is divisible by two if it's even, and a number is divisible by three, if the digits add up to a number divisible by three. So here's how we're gonna do this. It's gonna be super sweet, super quick, watch this. So A, is A correct or incorrect? It's automatically wrong because right there, that's an odd number. The last digit is odd, which means it's an odd number. Next, B, also incorrect automatically. Nine is odd. Remember that odd numbers are not divisible by two. Boom, A and B both gone. Number, or number, part C here, answer choice C ends in an eight. So it is even, we can check that off. Okay, cool. But what happens when we add up those digits? If we add up the digits, is that divisible by three? So here we have two, one, two, eight. We also have a zero, but adding zero does nothing. So we have two plus one plus two plus eight. Add those together, we get three, five, 13. Is 13 divisible by three? Nope, 13 is not divisible by three. And so just make sure you can see that right there, that's 13, all right? So 13, not divisible by three, and so therefore C is incorrect. So by de facto, D is gonna be correct, but here's the thing. We have 28,716, how can we tell if that's divisible by three? Because we know that the six means even, but here's the thing, just take those digits again and just add them up. So we'll have over here, two plus eight plus seven plus one plus six. Add those all up. We have 10, 17, 18, 24. Is 24 divisible by three? Yes, it is. And so that's why D is the answer. So notice how we did it that way instead of actually dividing every single number by something, right? By that six. We didn't need to do that. You can use your rules of divisibility to get this done super quick, super easy. Again, make sure to like this, comment on this if you liked it. That way we can make sure we keep producing things like this and stay at the top right for you. So again, class tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Go ahead and register with the link. That way we can all ace the ASVAB. Let me know if you have any questions. See you there. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, 
go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.